comes to the sleeping system for an expedition, it's so vital we protect ourselves by keeping ourselves warm and comfortable. If we get a good night's sleep, we'll be energetic the next day, ready to take on the next challenge. For sleeping bags, they come in one, two, three, or four season. Down at the one season, I would stay away from that. Probably going to be too cold, even on an average UK summer temperature at night. One season could be a little chilly. At the other end of that, the four season. Yes, this will keep you warm, but it's big, it's bulky, and it's heavy. Normally, we take a four season if we know we're heading to an area that's got really cold temperatures. I would say for a DV expedition, our ideal one would be a three season. This is the three season sleeping bag I use, and this is it out of its compression sack, so I can put it in another sack and really compress it down. In terms of what's inside a sleeping bag, you're either going to get feathers inside it or a synthetic material. Pros and cons, synthetic material, a bit heavier, but cheaper, and even if it got wet, it's going to keep you warm. The feather one, in particular down feather is a common one. These are more expensive, but they are lighter and they'll keep you warm. The warmth to weight ratio is really good. The downside to that is if it gets wet, then it can be cold. It doesn't retain the heat. So there's pros and cons to synthetic or down inside the sleeping bag. The choice is completely yours. When it comes to your sleeping mat, you want it to do two things. One, give you some comfort. Two, insulate you from the cold ground. The ground you lie on, drop down in temperature at night. You don't want the heat getting sucked out of your body by the cold ground, so insulating you from that. Both styles of mats that I have here will do that, either a foam mat or an inflatable mat. The foam mat comes in at a cheaper price. This one here is good thick foam. It will give you some comfort and it will insulate you from the ground with that foam layer. This one here is more like a sports foam mat, maybe a yoga style mat, I would try and avoid something like that, you'll probably find that the foam is too thin on it. Looking at the inflatable mats, we've got two different styles here, again they're a bit more expensive than what the foam ones are, but when these blow up they will give you more of an insulation from the ground and the air you're lying on, it will give you a more comfortable night's sleep within that. But again, I will stress Either of them will do the job for you, insulating you from the ground and give you a bit of comfort that night. When it comes to little extras just to keep you comfortable at night, I have an inflatable pillow. I also have a, a liner, which if I'm still cold inside my sleeping bag, I can go in the liner and put that inside the sleeping bag. And I also have some foot warmers as well, which I keep down the bottom of the sleeping bag, so you wake up at night with cold feet, you can put these on. That's a sleeping system. <laughs>